Hey everyone, John Henry here from School of Trade, and today we're going to be taking a look at a channel short trade here on crude oil. Uh, let me get my stop in place here. It goes right above the high. Pop M3 contracts there. First target's going to come off just back down to the swing low here, 50.62. Uh, we'll take two contracts off there. Final target is going to be just back down to the channel lows. Uh, so with the channel lows right now, those are going to migrate. Um, you know, it's not going to be an immediate just drop straight into it. Maybe, you know, hopefully. <laughs> um, so right now, the channel lows are right here just based on this candle, but honestly, you can probably just put it down here out of the way because it's going to take a little while to get down there. Um, so overall, looking at the way that this is setting up, we're coming off of a projected uh, channel high. This is the first time this high side has been tested. You draw it off the lows right here, copy paste it right up to the highs, and we're bouncing directly off of that level right here. Uh, so it has my interest, that's for sure. Um, now, we saw the sellers fail initially at the EMA, so seeing them come in now is almost a necessity if they're going to continue this downtrend back lower. Uh, so it is a little bit aggressive in the sense that you know you can see this very strong upward move happening here. Um, and we really haven't seen that upward move break, but if we can get a decent candle to the downside closing outside of that, uh, it'll look pretty nice. And on top of that, we're testing almost to the tick exactly where you're expecting that channel high to be. So it definitely has my interest, and it's worth it risking 13 ticks on the trade. Um, so we're hopping in short here. Three contracts, 50.94. First target's coming off, again, just back down to the lows here. If we can get it filled at 62, looking at 32 ticks, just that by itself will be 64. Uh, if we can get another Another one down, you know, it's kind of hard to judge where it's going to be, but you know, right now, if it hits a channel low, it's 39. Um, but again, that could be variable depending on how many candles form. So, uh, what we'll do is we'll be back in a little bit. I'm assuming this is going to take a little bit of time. It's pretty early. We're only going on 705 right now, uh, well, 710. So it's a little bit early in the morning. You're not expecting an insane amount of volatility at the moment yet. Um, so we'll give it a little bit of time, see if it can start pushing its way back down. I would really love to see a strong trending candle back lower. Um, as you can see, I mean, we are down on the day uh, and that's, kind of one thing to definitely keep in mind. You can see that overall we're heading to the downside. It's a little bit kind of sideways down. Uh, it's not the most aggressive thing in the world. Uh, you know, normally you see those 45 degree channels like we've got right here. Um, so in this case, you know, with this little bit of a higher low and a higher high, seeing this turnaround now is confirming that, you know, we're getting a failure to get back to those highs and we're coming back down and we're bouncing again right off of that projected channel high. So it's exactly where we want to see some bouncing action for sure. So we'll be back in a little bit, see if we can start pushing Pushing back down, fill that first target at 62, and again, the second target's kind of variable right now. You know, it might hit it here at 56, it might hit it all the way down where it is now at 24, so it just kind of depends. Uh, we'll be back in a little bit and uh, see if we can get the trade moving. All right, we're seeing, oh, perfect. Uh, I was going to say, we were seeing that continued pressure. Um, it's been a decent amount of time. We're, uh, we're actually going on 8 o'clock now. It's been almost an hour. Uh, so it wouldn't surprise me at all to get filled right on the tick like that. We're, we've been in line for a very long time. Uh, now, the overall move to the downside, we've got the initial target off back to the swing low. What we'll do is, oh, let's adjust our stop. Let's try this again. One contract. There we go. Uh, stop will go to break even. Uh, and now we're pretty much just kind of waiting for a little bit more continuation here. Uh, we're seeing exactly what we wanted to see, albeit a, a little bit slow uh, to get there. But again, kind of expected that just due to the time of day we're in right now. Um, now, the overall channel lows right now, at least, are down at 46. Uh, again, we're not really anywhere near there yet. So there's no reason to to really move, uh, move that target yet. But, you know, again, just kind of sitting on hands waiting for us to get near to this channel low and really this may take a little bit of time you don't necessarily cycle directly off the lows to the highs and back to the lows it doesn't work that way uh, so looking for a little bit of movement maybe around chops around a little bit just getting stuck here at this low at 62 which is what we're seeing now uh, but the majority of the move we're looking for is back to the downside to test these channels. Uh, hopefully it gets it in a nice little push. Uh, you know, I kind of hope, honestly, that it, it happens a little bit later so I can get a bigger target down here. Uh, but we'll kind of see what it wants to do. So we'll be back in a little bit and uh, see if we can get that final push. All right, we're back. Uh, it was just pushing down. I was moving my stop a little bit here, but we got the, a big burst of selling pressure coming in right at 9 o'clock, right at the pit open, uh, right down into the channel lows there. Now, you can see my target came off at 50.35, and that's because I like to front run the channel just a little bit. I don't want to put my target right on the channel low, have it tested to the tick, and then never fill. Uh, that's usually not a good thing. So my target 50.35 is where we got filled there, and that gives us, from our entry back here, uh, gives us a total of 59 ticks 
on that trade. Uh, so really gorgeous move to the downside. That projected uh, channel highs worked exactly how you want to see them work. Uh, in this case, we took off two at 32, so that gives us 64, plus another 59, so 123 ticks on this trade with only three contracts. Uh, it's a beautiful move to the downside, and again, that's exactly what you wanted to see. Now, from the looks of it, we are breaking below this channel, so this channel, may, this low right here, may start getting a little bit invalid. You know, it may actually migrate to a larger channel down here. That kind of remains to be seen, um, but that's something to keep an eye on when you see big closes like that past uh, where it should be turning around, especially if it goes even farther. Um, that gives you a heads up that, you know, it worked initially, but now they may be expanding it a little bit. Now, the open happening at the exact same time may have a little bit to do with that too, but uh, overall, that's going to be the trade. 123 ticks on the trade. Beautiful one. Uh, if you have any questions about it, feel free to send an email to School of Trade. Don't to check out our trial at schooloftrade.com and as always we'll catch you next time